Yo, what's up, YouTube? Peace, positivity, self-awareness, and motivation. Guys, recently you guys sent me some questions via my community post where I asked you guys to shoot me any type of dating questions that you had. And I've been slowly making my way down the list. If you have a dating question, make sure to hit the link in the top pinned comment. Add me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM if you have a question that you want to shoot that way. I'm going to get to this next question. This subscriber asked, serious question, she should said, when you've reached a breaking point and you've been completely crushed and hurt by women on multiple occasions, you've been fully RP, you've gone MGTOW, I'm not going to say that name, right? Because I just don't, I just don't like talking about that sect on my channel. More on that later. My question for you is after that point in life, how do you get over the resentment, anger, hatred, maybe even fear? Yes, I'm living my own purpose. Yes, I'm going to therapy. Yes, I'm working on bettering my flaws and becoming a better value man. I'm doing all these things. But at the same time, there's something in me that just completely views these women as just negative entities. And it's to the point where even once I'm over and fully healed from all the past traumas, I will still be viewing them as very bad humans. Okay. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm scared of turning into a full blown misogynist. Eh. Maybe this has already happened. I think it has. <laughs> I mean, according to other people, this has happened to everybody within the RP space, right? So the post goes on to ask, so my question is also how to handle being completely against women or how to handle it once you're already at the point where you completely dislike them as a whole group. And I don't need a tired old argument about how your mom was a woman, so you know all women are bad or how you have good women in your family, your sister, your aunties. I got you, bro. All that stuff is kind of off topic. It's because, yeah, we all understand that. And I'm talking more women from a dating and relationship perspective. As a group, I'm starting to believe that they're all basically nothing but pals of crap. I'm not BLK pilled, right? And I will not ever go BLK pill. Because I'm handsome, I take care of myself, I can get laid, that isn't the problem, I'm not an incel. My issue is, I've seen too much of the dark side, I've seen too much of the bullshit, I've also been a simp, I've also been a blue pill chad, now I've come full circle and now I'm a MGTOW, pill type. Sorry for the long weirdness. I just wanted to get this out here and explain to you. Hopefully you can answer my question. Appreciate you, brother. Peace. So guys, when I read this message, this sort of long message, and you know, it's a good question because I think a lot of guys struggle with this. There are a lot of men right now who have taken the RP. They've learned female nature. They are improving themselves, right? They're hitting the gym. They are seeking to make more money. They are doing everything that they can to improve themselves. Why? Because they realize that it's through self-improvement that you can change your life when it comes to your dating life and your prospects and also adapting that alpha mentality, right? There's a lot of guys out here who are doing and implementing these things and haven't seen any change. But right off the bat, what this sounds like to me is RP rage. RP Rage. Now, for you guys who know about RP Rage, give me a second so I can explain this to somebody who may not. When you finally know the truth, when you finally understand female nature, when you finally realize that this gynocentric society, this female empowering society that's, that puts women first and men second has conditioned you to be a blue pill man, to be the nice guy, to settle because you have to live up to some type of code of honor, right? They don't want you to be a monster. They don't want you to be an alpha. They don't want you to be a leader. Your masculinity is viewed as toxic. When you finally realize that, hey, my masculinity is actually good. I should turn myself into a monster. I should be competitive. I should do everything I can 
to be the best version of myself. And I shouldn't be the nice guy when it comes to associating with women. I should have standards. I am the prize. Why? Because I will make myself the prize. When you finally realize that that mindset that goes contrary to what you were taught and who you are right now, well, you're upset, right? You're upset. And that's just what happens. And that is the natural cycle for most guys who accept and hear the RP for the first time. Now, I've talked about this in other videos where I talk about there's five stages you go through of RP rage. For most people who come on my platform, they see people in the comment section and they wonder, why are these guys so angry? These guys hate women and these guys are upset and these guys are angry. Why are they so angry? Well, part of the reason they're angry is they're angry that they finally know the truth and it's completely contrary to what they thought and how they thought things worked when it came to dating, relationships, marriage, and manhood. And it's not so much that these men in the comment section or this guy that asked me the question are really upset at women. They're more upset at themselves. That's the real truth. They look at their life and they see that they don't measure up, right? They look at their earning potential and they see that they slacked off and they look at moments where they prioritized a woman's, um, a, a relationship with the woman instead of prioritizing advancement financially, right? With opportunities, focusing, bettering themselves and instead put a woman first. Now we're talking about relationships here strictly. And when you realize that, you are upset. You go through a moment where you're, you're angry. And even though it might look like you're angry at the people around you, your parents who lied to you, maybe your church who lied to you, maybe um, people who gave you advice, the movies that you watch, because there's a lot of movies out here that kind of push that like blue pill mentality, right? You've been lied to. You will be upset. And this guy who asked me this question seems like he's going through um, RP rage. Now, there's five steps that you go through that I've explained before in another video. That first step is shock, right? Your whole life you've been told if you be Mr. Right, if you smile at her every time, if you pull out every chair, if you show up on time and show up to the date with a bouquet of flowers, if you do every single thing and you're that nice guy and you're there to comfort her when her ex has been a jerk and you're the nice guy who she calls and complains on her ex on, well, one day she's going to finally let you bust those cheeks, right? You're, you're, the, you're the good guy who decided to treat her like a queen and you realize like, hey, that's not how life works, right? You realize that you have to have standards for yourself. You realize that women are attracted to monsters. Men who aren't necessarily monsters in everyday to day life. But when I say monsters, I mean, he can go there. Guys, listen, there is so much evil and bad in the world. If we look at superheroes, right? Look at something like Spider-Man or Batman, Superman. These are essentially monsters, I remember a quote, I heard it first from um, Jordan Peterson, where he said, it is better to be a monster in a garden than a gardener in a garden during a time of war. So that first stage is shock. Shock that you realize that embracing your masculinity and all these other attributes, right? The, the, the bad boys and the jerks who women complain about. They complain about those guys. Why? Because those are the men who they pick and deal with. They don't cry over the nice guy. They don't complain over the nice guy. Okay, so after experiencing shock from the truth, you experience rage, right? You're angry. So first you're shocked and you're like, I can't believe this. And you look back at your life and then you start paying attention to times when you messed up, when you over pursued when you validated a woman too much, right? When you didn't stand up for what you believed in hopes that, hey, if I just be the type of guy who forgives her all the time, doesn't really have a high standard, 
lets her go out and party with her friends. Doesn't matter what her body count is. Doesn't matter how she talks to you. I don't need her to respect me, right? Doesn't matter if she has three baby daddies and a bunch of kids. I'll be the dad that stepped up. And, you, and then you look back and you realize like the reason these women, all these women disrespected me was because I was unaware to the truth of the type of men that these women do respect. And it's not the guy that you are. And it's not the guy that you were taught to be. That is upsetting. And that's not necessarily a bad guy, right? A nice guy, which is the person who you realize you were, is a guy who's concerned about what other people think of him. He lives on the praise and validation of other people. A good man lives on the validation that he's living his purpose fully. And so what do we encourage usually in this space? Or what do I encourage? I encourage you to go find your purpose, to go find your passion. I've used this example in the past. If you look at a figure, right, who's very well known like Jesus Christ. And I've asked this before. If you look at Jesus, was Jesus a nice guy? Well, today we might say yes, but if you ask the people of his day, according to the story of Jesus, they would tell you probably not. And if you say yes, he was, I'll ask you, well, why did they kill him? Because if the majority of people believe that Jesus was a nice guy, then they wouldn't have killed him. But I could agree with you if you said Jesus was a good man. Because he lived on principle and he had his purpose in his life and um, strive to reach it. That's the type of man that you want to be. And there is a very, very real difference between those two types of people. So now, guys, that is just an example. I'm not here to try and push Christianity, spirituality on you at all. Just an example, right? Revenge. Revenge is usually the, the place a lot of guys get to when they start realizing the solutions to these problems, right? You start adopting that alpha mentality. You start putting yourself first. You start pursuing the things that will improve the quality of your life. And in return, that will improve your options. Usually this time, guys are trying to rack up bodies and bust cheeks, right? Right? You're dating for the purpose of only one thing only because you finally have the keys to unlock most women who find you attractive. You're able to raise their interest. You have that confidence. And so guys go through this stage. And I remember going through this stage where I was just like, man, I'm just going to build myself a rotation of women. And I'm just going to enjoy being the man, right? But you're still in a very unsettling stage of revenge after you realize that like I'm never going to be satisfied by sleeping with every woman I come in contact with you decide to accept female nature for what it is right so that fourth stage is acceptance you've accepted things for the way that they are now you don't necessarily like things for the way that they are and when I say that is you don't you've learned female nature and you don't like women for who they are, right? Women love opportunistically. As in, a woman will never love you the way that you love her. Rolla Tomasi talks about this, where he says, men love idealistically, meaning this. If you have a beautiful, I'm, I'm talking about, imagine the baddest chick who you can bag, right? You've got her. You're taking care of her. She's a stay-at-home mom. You really don't need that woman to do much other than just maintain her weight, be nurturing, right care for you she doesn't really have to provide any resources she just has to be who she is stay fine and don't be difficult and most men will be able to tolerate you women lose some weight get into shape right now i'm on my kevin samuels tip <laughs> and most men will be able to tolerate you and men are simple in that sense. And that men love idealistically. Whereas a woman only loves you opportunistically. She needs to know that she's getting something from you in order to love you. And typically that has to do with, you know, the resources and the looks. And you understand that 
and you've, you've accepted it, but somewhere deep inside of you, and this is where most guys kind of just end at, you're okay with it, you've accepted it, but you still kind of look, look at women and just are like, ah, if I, if I lost my job right now, if I stopped working, most guys know this, they realize this, if you, if you lost your job, you stopped working, stop pursuing self-improvement, most women would leave. If you weren't bringing something to the table, that is just the way women are wired. And this has less to do with women being bad or good. This is the way things need to be, right? Imagine if women dated and pursued men who didn't perform well. Then the human race would cease to exist. They have to seek the highest value. Alpha men who they can get, right? That's how the human race keeps going. So that fourth um, phase there is acceptance. Most men end there. But some men hit that last stage called indifference. Indifferent. Because when, you, when you've hit acceptance, you accept things for the, the, way, the way that they are, but you're not necessarily happy with it. But indifference, you've truly accepted female nature. You've truly accepted women for who they are right and these type of men are usually men who've put a, a considerable amount of time in improving their life in becoming a better version of themselves they are winning they are winners they usually have no reason to be upset because they are the prize at that point visibly so women are chasing for their validation they're making more money Right? They're not the fat guy who's in his mom's basement upset and angry and calls himself um, RP. No, they're out here improving their life, getting a better job, working 60 hours a week to be the best version of themselves. And that's where I would like every one of you guys to get to. And if you can't get to that point of indifference, which can only come through hard work and serious self-improvement, you can at least get to the point of acceptance. And if you get to the point of acceptance, well, now I'm going back to the question that was asked to me. You won't feel this dis like kind of almost strong dislike for female nature because you've accepted the way life works, right? You've accepted things for the way that they are. Listen, guys, there is no way you can still feel a deep dislike for female nature or any type of RP rage if you truly are putting in the work. If you're truly working on yourself from day to day, improving on your body, getting your finances straight, you have no time to complain. Not only do you have no time to complain, but once you're doing that for some time, the pendulum switches. You become the prize. You become the 25-year-old hot chick, right? Which the male equivalent of that is the guy with resources, money. You're the hot guy with the blue check on Instagram at that point, right? Figuratively speaking, or maybe you actually have the blue check at this point. You're winning. You're winning. And at that point... There's no way if you're improving yourself, because most guys come and they complain and say, well, I'm doing, I'm doing, uh, I'm RP aware and I still don't see your difference and these women will never change or I can't get a girl to, to find me attractive and to take me seriously or whatever it is. But these guys are the guys who are doing the bare minimum. Are you talking and saying hi? You don't have to ask for their numbers, but are you improving your social skills with women? Talking to 50 girls a day. Every attractive chick you find or maybe even not attractive if you just want to get used to talking to women if that's something you've struggled with and just saying hey how are you doing okay cool exchanging words with them are you out here living life are you actually hitting the gym waking up four to five days out of the week so you can grow muscle get better listen you gotta put in the work and there's no way you can tell me that you're out here improving yourself physically the majority of you Right, you're working out, improving your game, your mouthpiece with women, making more money, 
You got to work. You got to get to that money. See, because a lot of you guys want to be entrepreneurs. But you don't want to work and pursue your entrepreneurship. You have to do both. You have to do both. And if you're doing all those things, you become the prize. Because most men today are beta males. Most men today are simps. And that's how you separate yourself. You get out here, you put in the work, and you're not going to sit there and try to convince me that you're working and putting in the work and women aren't recognizing it. They see a shark. They recognize a shark when they see it. They recognize a man who is in that alpha state when they see it. They can't resist it. She can't help it. And you're, not, you're no longer mad at that point, dog, because you're the one she's given attention to, right? And then you have the game to be able to handle it and not get caught up. If you're RP aware and you also have game and you consume content on a regular basis, you really shouldn't be getting heartbroken at all. That should be a very rare occurrence. What do I mean? A woman just doesn't go from, I'm dating you, I'm attracted to you, and oh, now I'm cheating on you. No. There's usually a low level of disrespect and then increased levels of disrespect, right? Medium range. And then really bad disrespect. And at that point, she's probably cheating on you, dog. But if you are peer aware, you know that you're not going to give her three strikes. You give her one warning. On the third, you're gone. On the second, you really should be gone even sooner. Women usually will disrespect you with the way that they talk to you or the way that they handle you before they cheat on you. So if you're a guy who's consistently getting his heart broken, whether women are cheating on you, it just simply shows me that you, you don't have the balls to walk away. Right? But here's the other side of the coin that I want you guys to really focus on and pay attention to. Guys, listen to me. It takes time. It takes time. You don't just hear RP truth one month and a year later, you're a completely different person. It takes time. You are early in the process. If you right now are still in one of these stages, right? Maybe you're in rage or you're in revenge or you're still shocked, right? You're, you're still shocked by the truth. Knowing that these women who you thought were innocent are actually out here getting ran through. Well, give yourself some time. Self-improvement takes time. You're not going to be the best version of yourself six months later. No. You're not going to be the best version of yourself even a year later. No. I remember reading a statistic that talked about men don't hit, hit their full earning potential until about like 45 or 50. Think about the top guys right now within the RP space. Most of them are men who are within their 40s and 50s. You have time, bro. For the next five years, I want you to do this. Expect nothing. Except the fact that you're going to put in the work. And this is the same advice I would give to somebody who was like trying to start a business. Expect nothing and just work on improving yourself. You're early in the process. You might feel this way now. But that's because most of you lack patience and think that your whole situation in life would change like that. You will feel differently if you continue to improve yourself because there's no way you're going to work five years doing your best that you possibly can and you end up at the top and you still look at women and are like, oh, I just get the raw end of the stick. Man, I'm going through heartbreak. She's leaving me. She's cheating on me again. There's no way, bro. There's no way you're following these principles and getting there because women disrespect you before they leave. Women disrespect you before they cheat on you. I just need my chick, the woman who I'm dealing with, to disrespect me one, two, three times and it's done, right? Right? In most cases, whatever woman I'm dealing with, I won't stay long enough for me to find out. And I'm talking about like if you live in that purple pill 
exclusive life, right? Because if you if you if you got a rotation of women, you shouldn't be getting heartbroken by any one of them. They are sleeping with other men. She's letting other people bust those cheeks. Get used to it. But there's no way you could be the prize. You could be the best version of yourself in proving. And this woman isn't giving you signs that, hey, I'm disrespecting you. I'm losing my alpha perception of you. So at that point, you got to leave, right? And that's how you avoid getting your heart broken. So to me, bro, it sounds like you're still in RP rage. And I don't know how long that's going to last. I don't know how long you're going to be in that phase. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know, right? Because I don't know your life. Are you fat? Right? Because it could be that. And okay, let's say you're not fat. But are you working 60 hours a week? Right? Okay, let's say maybe you are. Are you focused on your purpose? Do you have a passion that's distracting you from your woman so she's not the center of your life and attention? Okay, well... Do you believe that if you find the right woman, now she's going to disprove all the RP facts? Listen, there are too many variables for me to know exactly why you feel this way. But I know this is no way you could be doing all of this and still be getting your heart broken a bunch of times and not be able to get over women. There's something Patrice O'Neill said. If you're not familiar with who Patrice O'Neill um, is, go ahead and look him up on YouTube. You're welcome. But I remember him saying something about how he genuinely doesn't like who women are as people, right? Their entitlement is to sum it all up. He goes into detail, but it's basically entitlement. And I remember thinking to myself, you know what? It goes both ways. When a woman is RP aware, when she doesn't live in a land of delusion, she realizes RP truths about men. There is such thing as male nature. And one of those things are men are dogs. Men will bang everything that they find attractive if given the opportunity. If you knew you weren't getting any diseases, if you knew you weren't going to give that chick a baby, most men would rationalize why it's okay to sleep with that beautiful woman. Most men would. And women genuinely do not like that about men right because these are the men who they're married to these are the men who they're in relationships with and these men will sleep with those women and still love their women and women hate that about men bro once a woman finally realizes like wow all men are dogs no 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 but but like all men are dogs like i thought my husband was different but he's he's they they realize that and a part of them just doesn't like who men are when it comes to sexual attraction. The same thing with women. Once you take that RP and you realize that like, hey, all women think like this. They all love opportunistically. I do have to perform. She does have to look up to me. And you accept it for what it truly is. There is no changing it. It's not a matter of right or wrong. It is reality. Right? There is no morality attached to the RP. It is based on human action, human behaviors, and human nature. It is not an ideology. It is a praxeology. And on that male nature tip, man, we often talk about female nature, but we never really delve into male nature. And male nature is dangerous. Male nature is dangerous. In fact, I would bet to say that it's worse than female nature female nature takes your resources and is cutthroat and will leave you heartbroken but male nature male nature kills right men are highly competitive that is male nature when a woman has a problem with you her agency of fighting you isn't her using her physical power it's her using her sexuality it's her using victimhood which is the me too movement all these things you see women using themselves as like oh my gosh she took advantage of me oh my gosh she did this this is how they gain power or in divorce right blaming you and whatever but male nature male nature man guys go to blows like that 
men are more prone to get physical in arguments because there's always an underlining threat of violence whenever two men are associating with each other. Not only that, but because of the nature of men being expected to perform, men have that burden of performance. They are naturally competitive. Competition is a man's reality. Every progress that you make to improve yourself, every chick that you bag, every promotion you get is another man who didn't get that promotion. When two men are battling, right? When two men are competing with each other, even from a young age, they go hard. You can get hurt on the field. And when, when you get into your later years, the man who is your competition, he doesn't only want to see you hurt. He wants to see you dead. He's trying to make sure he strips you of resources. He wants to see you and your family on the streets begging. When it comes to business, entrepreneurship, this is a man's world. You're taking that from another man out there somewhere. And you can sit there and complain and say, man, I don't like that about men. But the reality is, it is what it is. Now, what are you going to do about it, right? Are you going to be on the side that tries to change male nature? Or are you going to get in there and compete? My advice is that you get in there and compete. Because you can't change nature. And so, man, I've said a lot here. And so to answer the question that I was asked, if you can't um, be indifferent to female nature, you want to get to the point where you at least accept it and, and give yourself enough time to improve. Give yourself enough time. You're early in the process, especially if you're younger, right? When I say young, I'm talking about you, you're in your 30s, even late 30s. Again, I talk about how most men don't reach that peak earning potential to about like 45 to 50. Give yourself time. You have more time than you think, right? As a man, the good thing is you have more time to improve that thing that women find more attractive, which is why guys who are in their 40s can date the hot 25-year-old chick and she will date him gladly and willingly so. Trust me. Guys, I'm in Hollywood. I see that shit all over. If you really are improving your life physically, financially, mentally, and that, that's like game, right? Then you become closer to that 20% of men that women find attractive. That's what you want to do. You want to get closer to that 20% of men that women find attractive. And when you get there at that point, Right? Maybe it's that 30%. Maybe it's that 40%. Those guys are busting cheeks too. Trust me. You can't be upset. Because at that point, you're the prize, bro. You're the one that she's chasing after. You're the one that's leaving her on red. You're the one that's taking a long time to respond. You're the one that's flaking on dates. Why? Because you've got five other chicks over here and another prospect, another 10 over here. Right? When I say 10, I'm talking about like a 10 when it comes to levels of attraction. You become the prize. You become the commodity. You are now alpha in her eyes. She is chasing after you and your validation. And don't add game with that. Don't, don't be subscribed to Chisha Z because at that point, man, you're lethal. Come on now. <laughs> so, bro, cut yourself some slack. It's not going to happen overnight. You will get better. There is a better version of you coming in the future. Focus on you. Improve your life. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Chishi Zed, back at you again. I'm out. Peace. I'm a walking liberty bell. Free to ring through my stride. Freedom to be inside. And be a slave to my pride. And right away it is scream. Man, this love's so serene. I should probably shake it up just a little bit.